For our purposes, a banned book is a book that has been removed from a public library or a school. A challenged book is one that someone has requested be removed. So this conversation does not include Amazon banning, say, a book that denies the Holocaust. Look at that. Okay. See, he, he heard your gripe right. and he's addressing it here. Well, but it does, book it is... Wait, wait, what he's saying, wait, what he just said is insane. Wait, go, let's go back for that. For the purpose of this book, I'm redefining words. <laughs> right. Yes. 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 Save what the fuck? Money and eat better today. Now, back to the show. For Look, the name of this video is Why Book Burning is Back. <laughs> right. Right. I know. For the purpose of this video, I'm calling a book that's burning one that has been taken out of the library because <laughs> it has a bunch of fucking dirty sex in it. Well, it, you know, it's so, you know, if I was like a Holocaust survivor or something. Oh, I know. You know, it's like, oh, oh you know, you whoa. had like them literally taking books. The government was taking books and burning them so no one can read them. And he's comparing this to, oh, our I school know. said, you know, we're not going to teach this book. He's basically children. a Holocaust denier at this point. Oh, <laughs> got him. Why is why is crack denying the Holocaust? I know. <laughs> that should have been the, the title for, of the stream. For the purpose of this video, we're classifying <laughs> Holocaust denial as bitching on the internet about <laughs> politics. Okay. Perfect. Use our definitions, okay? There you go. For our purposes, a banned book is a book that has been removed from a public library or a school. A challenged book is one that someone has requested be removed. So this conversation does not include Amazon banning, say, a book that denies the Holocaust. So this is why, okay, this is insane. First of all, I don't have a problem with Amazon getting rid of books that deny Holocaust or whatever, but Amazon removing a book has going to have far more effect on you being able to read it than a public fucking school or a public library out of school getting rid of the book. Okay, so but, he's he's literally he's defining the word ink like backwards. The banned book would be the one that's removed from Amazon, not the one that's removed from your public school library. And the books that Amazon removed are literally Holocaust denialist books. So he's, right, he's, but he's only he's only defining it this way because he's in favor of banning those books. He's just against banning you know the LGBT. But he's making it. Books. He makes it sound like he's not in favor of that though. No, the, he. That's why he's the re, he's making an exception for this because he's fine with this. Are you sure? Here, let's yes. Sit here one that's more why time. he's saying he's saying like, oh, it's okay to ban. That's why he's not including Amazon in the book banning right. category. He's saying banning those books is okay. Right, because Amazon doesn't ban you know books for having rape in them or anything, which they shouldn't because it's, it's Amazon. Mm -hmm library or a school. A challenged book is one that someone has requested be removed. So this conversation does not include Amazon banning, say, a book that denies the Holocaust. Book banning isn't a new phenomenon. With <laughs> See, I'm telling you, he's he's that's why it's so dishonest. Banning something from Amazon is a thousand times more a banned book than banning it from your public school. Right. Okay. But Even he, if you agree he with did it. just giantly say, oh, book banning is okay as long as you're book banning the books that I want banned. Exactly. Exactly. Then it's no big deal. But, right. you know. Burn those books. Don't burn <laughs> these books. My book burning is back and it's good. <laughs> exactly recent decades seen bans on children's novels like Bridge to Terabithia and Harry Potter, as well as classics like John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men and Maya Angelou's I Know Why. Okay, so mm -hmm. how much you want to bet? The Sorcerer's Stone has been banned from the school library? Yeah. H how much you want to bet that uh, in any of these stories that he's going to bring up that are like talking about and complain about them woke, it has nothing to do with any of these books like Harry Potter or Bridge to Terabithia or any of this stuff. Of course not. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't. So, I just the idea that the sorcerer's stone is bad, right, right, is ridiculous. What? Well, actually, you know what? I would be surprised. I, I bet you, if if there's been like modern banning of Harry Potter, it's because, because it's of the transphobia, the, right? Yes, because they're like, well, J.K. Rowling has said transphobic things, so we're gonna get these books out of the you know the classrooms. They've moved them on. Like no I wonder, more I wonder. Harry Potter and the like. I, I know when the books came out like a million years ago, there were some idiotic 
like Bible thumpers who are like, this book promotes witchcraft. We have to ban it. And you're like, oh my God. Some kid comes in and they're like, can I get the new Harry Potter? No, here, take this pedo book that we just got in. <laughs> Read just, this instead. Like, it's about detached, marginalized people. Like how detached from reality is some like, you know, uh, overly sensitive Christian parent that they think their kid's going to run around casting a Vata Kadabra on people. <laughs> like, it could ha- that could happen. <laughs> You're going to kill these kids. are going to kill each other with the Harry Potter spells. Oh my gosh. Come on. These kids get so into Dungeons and Dragons. Love you. They so. could be taken over by Satan. They're going to make each other float into the atmosphere and then die. Look, they'll think they're, they'll fall into this dream world. Love you so why the caged bird sings. Recently, the rise of book bands has targeted works that address topics like race, indigenous people's experiences, and queer narratives. And as we <laughs> so it's such a fucking liar. You dirty little liar. I know. Why is he doing that, Sitch? Why does he do well, it? Wait, look, wait. He actually has the article that I was looking at because it says the same thing. It was banned challenge because it considered sexually explicit. But he's not going to say that. He's going to flash it on screen really quick and then not tell you. What a great name for the leader of Moms for Liberty, don't you think? Moms for Liberty? Tiffany Justice. (laughs) That's not her real name. How do you know? That's no one. No. Get out of here. Tiffany Justice. No way. Fuck There's off. a new sheriff in That's town. That's not a real name. No, 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 no. Wait, is it, Tiffany Justice uh, isn't. He's a reporter. What are you talking about? Oh, really? Oh, is there. Wait. It says oh, Tiffany no, there's Justice, two. Moms for Liberty. There's a Fox, a local Fox News Houston reporter called Tiffany Justice. And then mm-hmm. there's this other uh, lady who looks like a Karen called Tiffany Justice. She looks like a Karen? You're so mean. Wife, you see mother, in groups like former Mom school for member, co-founder, joyful warrior, Mom for Liberty, Tiffany Justice. There's no way that's a real name. I don't believe anything they can associate with CRT is on the must ban list. If you see Good. this acceptable, Based. you belong on a national registry and not a school board. Oh, and by the way, if you were ever one- that did, wait, that book had to do CRT though. You belong on a national registry. Oh my God! Look at this. McCarthy is back, right, bitch? If you want to read this book, we're taking your name down. I don't believe this. I still, I still can't get over this name. I don't believe this woman's real name is Tiffany Justice. Get I refuse friends. to believe it. Whose real last name is Justice? Sitch is in love with the Moms for Justice. Wondering well, what our take he is on targeted works that address topics like race and. I want to hear. Okay. I want to hear her say the, you belong on a list one more time. This is what they should have named the organization. Mm-hmm. MILFs for Justice. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to ban sexually explicit material, <laughs> and you want to call them MILFs for Justice? I think it they might would get be. so much more traction, okay? I think it might be just a tad off brand there, <laughs> Sitchter. <laughs> like, come on indigenous people's experiences and queer narratives. And as we see in groups like Moms for Liberty, anything they can associate with CRT is on the must ban list. If you see this acceptable, you belong on a national registry and not a school board. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I think she means like a national sex offenders yeah, registry. That's what she meant. Yeah. I think that's what she's talking I about. I assumed that you were like getting off on her yelling at you like that or something. <laughs> no. That's why you had to rewind and play it back. I thought she was talking about like a communist registry. No, I thought, no, she, was no, going, no, no, I thought she was going full like <laughs> McCarthyite here. No, he was it, talking about like, yeah. We stuff. have a list. Yeah. You belong on the blacklist. Hey, if you were ever wondering what our take on the critical race theory debate is, uh, we made a video on it. At the same time. That video sucks. Did we ever, I don't know if we covered that video or we, not. Wait. I think pretty we Pretty sure we did. Didn't yeah. we cover it? I'm, I'm, like super 80%, 90% confident we covered the CRT I think video. We did, I can't imagine yeah. we didn't cover it again. Um, librarians are becoming subjects of attack. Kimber Glidden, former Idaho library director, resigned after months of harassment because she feared for her safety. She said, we were being accused of being pedophiles and grooming children. 
people were showing up armed at library board meetings. But <laughs> oh my god! Well, I mean, if you're not gonna get the pedo material out of your library, you're gonna get those kind of accusations. It's pretty sure. obvious. So, like, you read the descriptions of those books. I mean, it sounded like pedophilia to me. What the fuck? Yeah, well, I don't know because I'm trying. To, like, what books were they complaining about? Um, it doesn't say in the articles I'm looking at. When she says like people showed up armed, like what is that? Is that just like people who, who carry normally? Did people or did like people with guns, like holding guns, show up? Like you know, like you gotta get this book out of school. Or, like I, I'm kind of skeptical of the latter. They came armed with their camera phones. There you go. Book banning has been contentious since long before Americans were bringing guns to library board meetings. What a phrase too that I'm just saying out loud, Americans bringing guns to library board meetings. I'm sure for many of you that just sounds like a normal thing that I just said. Nobody thought there would be pedophilic material in the libraries until now, so. I well, mean, there was that there was that one book, I don't know what it was called, that, you know, they always put the picture of on Twitter that's like actually has the like the weird gay mm -hmm. underage sex acts like illustrated in it. Yeah. Um, I mean, but I don't know if that was the book that they're complaining about with this person. I just, I don't get it. Like you, you're raising the temperature. You're the one that's putting all this stuff in the libraries. Right. And, and thinking, Oh, parents aren't going to care about this. Well, well the yeah, that, they are. The problem is that, you know, because there's so much actually objectionable material that should be removed like you don't know if if there's actual things that are being removed that shouldn't be removed that are falling through the cracks sure i don't know when is it appropriate to be outraged about the material in the library well, i just kind of he, there he's acting like i mean there's a demo i thought we're all for democracy here. There's a democratic process here. Mm -hmm. Parents are upset about the material being presented to their children as normal and okay. Which, you know, sexualization of children is not normal and okay. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, what does it, what does it mean? Pause and think about it. Okay. I did pause and think about it. I think you're crazy.